Hey guys, this is Sharon Knight Baldin, and welcome back to my channel. So, today's another digital, digital, digital. Today's another digital piece, and this was supposed to be my Picarto uh, Be Right Back skin. So, for those who live stream, you'd know that when you're using certain software, you can switch between screens or what they call scenes. So, usually when I go B right back, I would usually just write it on the drawing like B or B. But that would entail me usually like switching scenes or stuff like that. What I want to do now was create a scene that had a picture like that says B right back and it have my music still playing in the background to show that it's still running. And then I can switch to that scene so that if I need to do something on my computer I you won't see it like if I want to order like Jollibee or McDonald's you wouldn't see me ordering stuff so that was what this entire thing was for the sketch started out with a girl with like this cute side ponytail loose ponytail thing but the nice thing the line art, I decided I wanted to do one of my characters instead. So I changed the hairstyle a bit and that's pretty much it since it was so some way it was somewhere near the sketching the end of the sketching phase that I thought like oh I'll just do one of my OCs instead. So I just needed to change the hairstyle and edit the outfit a little to make it look like the character. So yeah, that was that. And I tried, well, I usually have a hard time with this particular pose, this like shushing pose, mainly because of how the hand is positioned. Uh, with this pose, you can see all of the knuckles and the fingers, and I usually have a hard time imagining how the arm crosses over the chest when it's this pose, but luckily, a few months back, I bought the SH Figure Arts Body Chan figurine, and this is a artist figure posing doll. So I bought Body Chan and Body Queen, which is the male and the female figurine. And since I had that, it was a lot easier for me to like see it in front of me and pose it and see how it would cross over the chest. So having it has made me a bit more daring with the way I do anatomy and stuff like that. Like I could have easily just bought up a picture online, but Having seeing it in real life in 3D makes it a lot easier for me to understand how the pose works. Though you don't really need the figurine to help you out all the time, but I like I like seeing what I want to draw. Um, exactly how I wanted to draw it. Like you could use references, yeah, sure, but I want to be able to pose the pose myself. So the figurines really, really help. Um, yeah. So it's been a while since I drew anything digitally, so I was sort of trying to um, trying to get a feel of what I used to do when I used to draw digitally, like um, especially with with the coloring style. Since I've been slowly evolving my coloring style, I'm not really used to what I've been doing in the past few videos, like with the night kun. Um, I, I was using a bit more advanced techniques than what I used to do, so I'm still not 100% comfortable with the current style. I mean, it's not yet instinctive to me, and I still need to think how I did this or how I do that. But I'll, I'll, I'll practice and I'll get used to it. And I'm trying to stream every week now, though given that I have a job sometimes that's not entirely possible but I've been trying to make it consistent that I stream um, maybe every Sunday maybe <laughs> it really depends I, I'll figure it out eventually but I do want to try doing that like having a consistent stream schedule so that I also pump out a lot more videos uh, more often aside from my traditional works but we shall see what my plans will be in the future so this is fairly straightforward and simple drawing. There's actually not much going on in this particular drawing. But yeah. Um yeah. <laughs>
so I guess to fill in this huge space of like not being able to say anything since there's really nothing special going on here. How are you guys? Um, has have you guys been trying anything new with your art? Like, have you been trying like new techniques or new coloring styles? Like, I, as I've mentioned, I'm I'm like slowly trying to evolve my coloring techniques, so I'm still kind of slow and trying to figure it out. And I guess I've been trying to practice a lot of anatomy as well. And yeah, I've been trying to learn how to use like ambient lighting, like the color of the background will affect the color of the piece, but with this particular piece that won't really apply since she was meant to be on a transparent background so that I could slap her on to an existing background and like it would be fine. So I couldn't really plan the background out, I guess. Um, other than that, I, I guess my life's been pretty good. <laughs> um, I have a job, as I've mentioned in a couple of videos. It's the job itself is fun. I love it. The culture is great. I love that company right now. Um, the painful part is usually commuting to and fro to the office. The traffic's really bad, so I thought I'd be able to draw when I come home from work, but usually I just end up like eating dinner and then going straight to bed. I'm trying to like get more energy and make me less sleepy when I get home. Hopefully, so that I could draw something like slowly every day, and maybe at the end of the week I'll be able to do like two pieces, or three pieces by the end of the week. But that's proving to be pretty tough right now. I've been exercising. Hopefully, that will up my energy levels. Though, yeah, it's taking a bit of time to get to that stage. But yeah. I guess you could say life's been pretty good to me lately. Um, cause when I first started this channel, I was freshly graduated from college. I graduated my second degree from Ateneo de Manila University. And I had, a lot of, I had a lot of free time on my hands. Like, I wanted to rest for a couple of months after I graduated because I felt that I would burn out quickly if I jumped straight into a job after graduating since I had been in college for six years because of my second degree. So I was, I willingly didn't look for any jobs for four months and then I guess Christmas rolled around so there wasn't a lot of job opportunities when I started thinking to think like, oh maybe I should start looking for a job now. So I waited until January and then I started applying and then yeah, I got a job now. So I'm no longer like in a slump of, it's at the end of that rest period. I'm starting to feel a little, a little bit depressed and moody that like, oh shit, everyone's going on with their lives and what am I doing? Like, sure, I'm making videos, but what am I doing? So I'm out of that slump now. I'm an extrovert, if you guys, yeah, if you guys didn't know, I'm an extrovert by nature. So if I'm not with people for a very, very, very long time, I tend to like lose energy and willpower and yeah. Yeah, <laughs> which is funny because, like, from what I will hear from most YouTubers, they usually like introverts and they like to stay quiet and stuff like that. And YouTube, their channel is their form of expression. Me, I'm an extrovert, but I'm somewhere in the middle of the scale. Like, I'm okay with staying at home for a couple of weeks. I'm okay with. Well, sometimes I even really don't go with people going out, like sometimes I'd rather stay at home. But when that stretches for like five, six, seven months, I start to be like super antsy and restless and I guess YouTube is just another creative outlet for me. Oh hey, we're doing the end of the video. Yes, my senseless talking made us through. So I'm doing the background right now and it's sim it's like sort of random actually and I'll do a little bit of color adjustment to that right now. Yeah, there. And we're at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like or subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I do a lot of art here, as you can see that. And please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram and Art for more of my art stuff. And I'll see you around.